Hi guys, welcome to the basic image exercise. Here we're just gonna, I'm just going to show you how to load an image into your um, canvas and, and load an image and put it into your canvas. Um, so what we're going to be trying to do is put three images stacked on top of each other here. Um, so let's go to the code here. The first thing you do when you need to put an image into your um, canvas is you need to create a variable that will hold that image path. Um, so my variable here is going to be img. Um, and then we make use of a p5 structure function called preload. Now this function here will run before setup. Um, so this will load all our assets in. This is where you would load your images, your fonts, um, your audio. Um, so we're going to assign um, the image to this img variable that we created um, using the load image function. So this load image function just takes a path to your image. So this path is relative to this document. So as you can see down here, this is the image, this is the folder that I'm working in. This is this here, this sketch.js is this file here. And you can see there's an assets folder, and inside that assets folder is redfern.jpg. So you can see that's the path to that image. So now we've loaded that image in, we're going to draw it onto the canvas. So we don't really want to use uh, for this exercise, we don't want to draw onto the canvas every time the draw function runs, which is however many times a second. We just want to draw it once and it, to stay there. So I'm just going to draw it here in the setup function. Um, so the image function here, um, you can read about in the reference section of P5, um, the P5 website. Uh, it takes a few parameters. The first parameter here is the, is the path to the image or the, the image um, as brought in by load image. Um, so we just put img in there, that's our variable name. We're gonna put it 10 pixels from the left, 10 pixels from the top. We're gonna make it 400 pixels wide and 300 pixels high. So let's just save that. There we go, there's our image. Um, so we're gonna draw another image. It's gonna sit on top of this image and um, because the, the function will always draw top to bottom, so this one will sit, this image will sit underneath this image, this image will plonk straight on top. It's going to be exactly the same, it's just going to be 100 pixels from the left, 100 pixels from the top. There we go, there's our second image. Uh, let's draw a third image in here. Same thing, but the only difference is that it's 200 pixels by 200 pixels. There we go. Now we could make some change some of these things up. Going to make this one a bit stretched. There we go. That's that stretched image. Um, you know, you can change the width and the size of this. We can make this so small, fifty by twenty. There he is. Little small image in there. Um, all right, great. Um, you should. You, the other thing that you can do is that you can um, crop an image. To a you know a clipped rectangle, um, so in order to do that, I'm not going to go into that here, but you can read about that in the reference section for the image function, and here is an example of it here. Um, just takes a few extra um, parameters there to 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 draw it, um, so you can have a look at that um, on your own. Okay, thanks guys.